Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have six different boxes to share with you guys. We have the Bombs and Bubbles box for February, the Ice Cream Beauty box for February, some PR from Seattle, London, the Hermine box for February, the Mindful Souls box, I think for February, and my paid for BoxyCharm Premium for February. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, lifestyle videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in the boxes. <music> Now on Sundays, I do like to unbox multiple different subscription boxes in one video so that you can see them all at once. Now, before we jump into the subscription boxes, I did wanna get real with y'all for a second that my mental health has not been great this month. Um, last week's subscription box Sunday video, I was like feeling very anxious while filming, which is not a feeling that I felt very frequently. So it was really hard for me to film that video. And you probably, I don't even, I don't think you could even tell from editing it, but. I don't know, my mental health hasn't been been great this month, and so if you're out there feeling the same way, no, you're not alone. Um, I don't talk about my personal life really ever on this channel, and I'll continue to keep that private, but just know that if you think my life is like great and perfect, that's not true, and I don't think anybody's is, but just like a reminder that there are people out there feeling those things, like I've been feeling very alone, you know? So if you're out there feeling alone, no, you're not the only one. Just like a little mental health plug, take care of yourself. Um, go to therapy, meditate, calm yourself down, do what you can to help your mental health because it is so incredibly important. But now let's jump into the boxes because that's what we're here for. All right, the first box we're gonna jump into is the Bombs and Bubbles box for February. Now I did pay for this with my own money and y'all know I love bath stuff and bath boxes. And so I wanted to find a new bath box to share on the channel and I've seen this one and really wanted to try it out. So it is called Bombs and Bubbles. Now there are three different subscription levels. I got the most expensive one. This is the Detonator. This comes with six bath bombs. This is $40 and comes with free shipping. Um, you can get the bomb box that comes with five bath bombs. It's $32.99 plus shipping. So at that point I'm like, well, I'll just get the extra bath bomb and no shipping and pay just a few dollars more. And then the fuse box is comes with three bath bombs and is $17.99 a month plus shipping. So three different levels. I'm getting the detonator, which comes with the most. Um, and each month, um, these are handmade in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they have a theme, which is so fun. So I'm very curious to get inside. I'm assuming that this one's gonna be like Valentine's, but I don't know, I love bath, bath boxes with themes. So I'm super excited to get inside and open this up. All right, when you open it up, that is what it looks like. It smells so good inside this box. I am so excited. You have to like sign up by a certain day of the month. I don't know if it's like the fifth or something to get that month's box. And I signed up in January, but after that date, I feel like I signed up like mid January. And so I've been waiting a really long time to get this box. So I've been like really excited about this. So like, I am so excited right now. So on top you get this little, oh my gosh, you get Valentine's candy. I love that. Now I'm assuming this is not an every month thing, but you get two little chocolate hearts. Um, these are a Palmer Double Crisp and a Palmer Fudge. I don't know. I think that's Palmer. I'm not sure. And then you also get a little lollipop, a little heart lollipop. I love that. So this month's theme is Happy Valentine's Day. It says, all you need is love, but a bath bomb now and then doesn't hurt. Love that, love that, love that. They then do list all the ingredients in all of the bath bombs, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's jump into the bath bombs. The very first one that I pulled out is this one here. O-M-G. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is chocolate covered strawberries. So the scent here is ripe red strawberry is surrounded by creamy milk chocolate notes to create a decadent treat. This smells so good. You definitely get the strawberry, you get the chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's actually like literally drizzled and I, I don't know if that's like soap or bubble bath. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now obviously I've never tried their bath bombs before so I don't know how these will perform in the actual tub. I will have to report back to you next month on these, but very, very excited. Off to a great start. The next one says, I heart you. It's one of the little um, candy hearts. This one is called Love. Ooh, okay, so this says hints of fresh peaches, strawberries, and raspberries on an undertone of white musk. Yeah, this is fruity. You get the white musk. 
Uh, Y'all know I love a good fruity bath bomb. And this is gonna be really pretty bath water. Oh my gosh, I love that. That smells like bath time. It smells so good. Then we have this like number nine bottle, this pretty purple. This is called the Magic Potion Bath Bomb. This is a magical ar aromatic blend of Japanese grapefruit and mandarin, middle notes of Georgia peach, and base notes of Nubian musk. Oh, wow. Okay. That smells so good. Like, so good. Mmm, okay. Like, I'm impressed so far by, like, the different shapes, the different scents. Very good. Then we have another little heart. This one says XOXO. This one is in Paris Le Fleur. This has notes of coconut water and carnation, plus notes of blushed peony, ylang flowers, warm sandalwood, and sheer musk. Ooh. Wait, this smells so good. This smells like floral, sexy, yummy. Oh, I really, this would be a pretty, um, I was gonna say this would be a pretty coconut because the first note was coconut water. No, this would be a pretty perfume my brain, and I kiss the packaging again. I say again, I filmed Bath Bevy, which will be coming up later uh, in the week, and I kissed the bath bomb in that video, so it's again today, but for you guys, that was the first time. Oh, that smells really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Then we have this bath bomb here. It just says love, and it's pink and white. This is the Burgundy Rose Bath Bomb. So this has notes of sensual burgundy rose with fresh white floral nuances, warmed by precious musk and applewood. Ooh. I like the way this one smells. This is, I like that they all smell really different. For some, like some, in some bath boxes, I feel like sometimes things all smell the same. This does not at all. Ooh, okay, I like this a lot. And then last but not least, we have a little Be Mine Heart bath bomb. This one is in, called Hot Pink, even though it's blue. <laughs> um, this has an accord of kefir lime, Japanese grapefruit, tangerine, and lemon, middle notes of bergamot. Ooh. I like this. This is very, like some of these scents are different from like the scents that I've smelled before in bath bombs in a good way. So I'm just like adjusting to that. It must be, maybe it's like a fear lime and the grapefruit. This smells really, really good. Oh my goodness. Okay. So those are all of the bath bombs in the bombs and bubbles box for February. Honestly, I'm genuinely so impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. I do really like this. I love to be able to support like a smaller, you know, handmade business, which this one is. So love, love, love this. Again, this is the detonator box. Um, so I will leave a link to their website down below. All right, up next, we have the Ice Cream Beauty Box for February. If you're unfamiliar with the Ice Cream Beauty Box, this is a monthly beauty subscription where you get five to seven beauty items inside, and this retails for $25. This box is sent to me free for review, and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first Ice Cream Beauty Box. Now this one I think is a really great value and gives BoxyCharm a run for their money because it is good. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. February's theme is BMI Valentine and there are five different products inside. All right, the very first thing that I'm pulling out of the box is this here. This is from Pure Cosmetics and this is their Fiber Lash Mascara which retails for $30. Whoa, this is like bouge. Oh, it's a two twofer. Okay, so how does this work? You use one to two coats of the lengthening mascara from the base of the eyelashes to the tip. That creates a base to adhere the lash lengthening fibers to. Um, before your mascara dries, you brush on the lash, lash lengthening fibers to build and lengthen the volume. Focus the application of the fibers to the area where you want the most length and volume. Then you seal it by finishing it with one to two coats of the lengthening mascara. Oh, okay, I've heard of things like this before. I'm not gonna open this stuff right now because I have other mascaras I'm using, but I'm curious to try out this out because it is so different. I've never tried one of those. Have you guys tried like fiber mascaras before? I'm curious. It scares me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I've been having some issues with my eyes when I wear certain makeup. So I, I might, I might wait to use this until I figured more out about that just because I feel like this could maybe irritate my eyes. But this, this is like fun. This is like new. I love this. All right, the next thing out is from Maybe Cosmetics, and this is their Take Me to Paris palette, which retails for $23. So it's just in a little sleeve. Ooh, okay, does come with a mirror. Those are really fun shades. 
I'm not gonna swatch them because I'm not sure I'm keeping this palette. I do like it, but I'm being really cutthroat about what I keep and what I don't. I really love this bubbly toast shade here. That's really pretty. I love that it has some fun colors. This is fun for February because it has some pinks, but it has some neutrals that you can play around with. Really pretty green. Oh, I do like this palette, it's fun. Maybe I will keep it. I haven't decided yet, so I'm not gonna, but I do think it's a really cute one for February. It's one that can be used as a fun color story. It reminds me of ice cream, even though I think it's more supposed to be like macaron, cafe, Sean's Leger, like all that fun stuff. So really, really cute package, um, package, <laughs> palette. And this is cruelty free. All right, up next we have a product from Eloise Beauty. Okay, I was gonna open it up to show you guys, but it's, Looking a little not great. <laughs> Looks like it might have shattered. This is a Hollywood Globe Pressed Highlighter for $47. Okay, let me, yeah, uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna open this in the box. Mm. That looks really pretty. I don't know if I can save that, if I'm honest. That is, yeah, that's, uh-oh. Now what I will say, as it seems really pretty, um, I just won't be able to, to, I think that one, that's too crumbled and too far gone. I know sometimes you can press them in, but like that is everywhere. So um, if that ever happens to you, obviously co contact customer service and they will replace that for you. Um, but I think that is a great product to get. Obviously it's a $47 product, so it's really, really nice. If yours came uh, great, then I think that's really, really awesome to receive. All right, the next thing out is from Basic Beauty, and this is their Vodka Lip Kit, which retails for $25, or Vodka Soda, it says here. Okay, so there's two, I think you get a lip lipstick and a lip liner. <gasps> look, okay, you do, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful, oh my gosh, okay, we're swatching this. This is in the shade Vodka Soda, like I said, oh my goodness. Doesn't really have a scent, it has a regular doe foot applicator. Oh my gosh. Absolutely yes. I will wear that so much. Then you get the matching lip liner to go with it. Now this is also in vodka soda. It is different, but I think it's obviously darker so you can line your lips with it. So it's intentionally, I guess, darker than, cause those don't look the same. I love that. That is so good. I think I've used the Basic Beauty liquid lips before and really, really like them. I don't have it in vodka soda, but I love that shade it's kind of close to what I'm wearing today but a little bit lighter so we'll definitely be getting some use out of this and then finally we have a product from Hikari and this is their Lux eye crayon for $17 it says that this is perfect for creating a cut crease I don't know how to do that but hey so this is what it looks like so I think it's like a fairly neutral tone and maybe that's why it'd be good to do a cut crease because it's just like a matte skin tone shade yeah, it's just like a skin tone shade. So I guess you just like put that on to create the cut crease. I'm gonna have to like Google how to do, I know how to do a cut crease, but like I don't know how to do a cut crease if that makes sense. I haven't done it, so I'd have to play around with it. Cool. I thought this was a really, really good ice cream box. I know that I had one product that was kind of broken, but like if that had not been, it would have like so good. Again, customer service would totally take care of that. So I thought this was a very, very, very good ice cream box. My favorite is obviously the lipstick, but I think the mascara is great. The palette's super cute. Um, everything inside is really awesome. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the February ice cream box. All right, next up, I got some PR from Ciate London that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I don't usually get PR packages, so it was super exciting when Ciate London reached out and wanted to send me some. And I am actually really excited about what they sent me. They sent me like information, like a booklet on a bunch of different stuff. Um, I, there's nothing I didn't have, I don't have to create content. I don't have to share this, but honestly, they sent me some really good stuff. So my favorite thing that I got from them, I got two different ones are their fruit burst lip oils. These retail for $16. I got mine in grapefruit and yuzu burst and then mango and lime burst. This is what they look like. They are just little lip oils or like almost like lip glosses. They are so good. I would, I want to put them on my lips right now. They are so nourishing. They smell so, so good. They're so comfortable. I really, really love them. Y'all know I love a good lip product, like a lip treatment type thing. And these are delicious. So it says here that these are for lips in need of intense dose of nourishment. Um, Seattle London introduces the new lip perfecting treatments. Um, your routine is missing. Skincare meets makeup with Seattle London's new generation lip glosses, the fruit burst lip oil collection. Um, so this one 
nur the mango and lime nourishes lips, the grapefruit and yuzu revives and plums. There's also a lychee and acai burst that conditions and soothes. I did not get that one, I only got these two, but honestly, I've been using both of them, if you can tell, and really, really have been enjoying them. The other thing that they sent me is also super exciting, another lip product, but a little bit different. This is their Raspberry Burst Exfoliating AHA Lip Serum for $28. Y'all, I love a good lip mask at night, I love a good lip serum, there's not a ton. Look how gorgeous. It is frosted glass packaging. Love the red kind of lid. This reaches for $28. Um, this is packed full of fruit derived AHAs for a super soft and refreshed pout. This is infused with extracts to gently exfoliate um, and it's a smooth and lightweight gel to water formula. This is also infused with moisture rich berry stem cell culture extract. This is like a roller ball and it's like there's a liquid inside. It smells so delicious. It smells kind of like vanilla-y. It smells so good. And I've loved using this on my lips. It's kind of the, still kind of winter season where lips are cracked. So I love putting on this serum and then topping it with one of the two little lip oils that they sent me. Loving, loving, loving that combo. And then finally, they did send me this here. This is their Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer, which retails for $28. I have definitely gotten this before and either like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. I do really love this stuff and I've used it before. This is really good. I, while I have oily skin, I like a more hydrating primer for my face. It just works better for me and this one works really, really well. So you have a cute little pump and it works great as a primer. It is ultra lightweight. Um, it's smoothing and hydrating. It helps make your skin plumper, brighter, and smoother and I genuinely love this primer and I've used it. This is the only product that I got in the PR box that I've actually tried before and I was super excited to get it again. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't normally get like that kind of PR. I get a lot of subscription boxes, but outside of subscription boxes, I don't get a lot of PR and so it was really fun to get. I genuinely like, I'm, I don't have to say anything about these, but I genuinely love, like I've been loving these. Y'all know I love a good lip product and honestly, I probably should have saved one of these for my sister because she likes lip stuff too, but I get a little greedy, so maybe I'll have to get her some too. Um, but I'll leave some links down below in case you want to purchase any of these products. All right, up next, let's jump into the Her Mind box for February 2022. If you're unfamiliar with the Her Mind box, it is a monthly self-care and relaxation subscription. This box is $49.95 a month plus shipping. This is sent to me free for review, and I do have a 10% off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up. Now, I didn't get the January box, um, so I don't know what the theme for February is, but I'm really, really excited to jump inside. I love this box too because they're a mother-daughter team. Um, they love to support women and women-owned brands in their box, and I just love sending that vibe out on my channel. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. All right, this month's theme is self-love. That makes so much sense for February. In case you have your eyes towards March, it looks like it will be... Um, a box dedicated to hands, which is awesome because I definitely like to focus on my hands and feet. Um, but for today, we are jumping into the self-love box. So the very first thing that I am pulling out are these here. These are beautiful. These are by Mood Organic, and these are the botanical shower steamers. So set the mood with the scents of these botanical shower steamers made with Peruvian pepperberry and Bulgarian rose, as well as organic peppermint. It's a euphoric boosting blend that will put you in the best mood. This is a two pack um, and the rice paper stand up pouch is vegan, cruelty free, botanically dyed, organic, natural, and no synthetic fragrances or all the products are. So really, really nice. I wanna get a little sniff of these. Ooh, I love that. You can smell the peppermint. I love like minty or eucalyptus-y type things and these are super minty and they're so cute with the little roses in them or flowers, whatever they are. I don't think they're roses. Love this. So one thing about this box is I do always talk a little bit about the owners because these are usually smaller or women-owned brands. And so I do like to talk about the owners. So Maggie is the owner of Cleanse Gourmet Fresh Bath Products. From a young age, she was quite intrigued by all the recipes in the beauty magazines. She loved to try everything from rubbing tomatoes on her face to coating her hair with olive oil. And as she got older, she became obsessed with all beauty products and started experimenting, researching, and formulating products of her own, which slowly developed into her own style of products that are clean, modern, eclectic, meaningful, attractive, and most of all, improve our skin. Well, honestly, these smell incredible, so I cannot wait to take a shower with these. Next up, we have a rose hip oil. Um, this is derived from the actual fruit of the rose plant. The oil's reputation dates back to ancient times when Egyptians, Mayans, and Native Americans all used it for its healing properties. Um, it's packed with antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E, phenolic compounds, as well as fatty acids to help restore and rejuvenate the skin. Oh, and it has the little flowers in it. So pretty, nice little glass bottle. 
So Bethany Bruno is the owner of Farms Touch. Um, she has always had a passion for creating things and channeled her love of the nature and agriculture in her alternative revenues, opting to forego chemical additives in favor of naturally occurring ingredients. And in 2018, um, she kind of turned this into a business. So super duper fun. I love all the little like floral kind of stuff. It feels so good for February and self love. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this here. This is the strawberries and cream soothing raw juice mask from ESW beauty. This is the perfect medley of ingredients that provide nourishment and hydration to your complexion. The mask contains coconut, vanilla bean, almond milk, and strawberry extracts, which helps soothe sensitive skin. Um, it's vegan, organic, cruelty-free, and sustainable. So Alina Sophia Wang is the founder and CEO of ESW Beauty. She struggled with stomach ulcers for many years, and in early 2018, she started to live a cleaner lifestyle and began to pay more ingredients to or more attention to ingredients she would cook with and tried to keep a more wholesome meal plan. She also decided to transition her beauty vanity into clean skincare products. She didn't really find that there were sheet masks on the market that had non-toxic formulas. Um, so I guess this is where that was born. All right, the next thing out is this here, and these are waist beads. Um, which are really, really cool. I've never heard or seen that before. So this is what waist beads look like here. It says here, have you ever felt like you could use a little something to reclaim that sexy feeling? We have. We had heard and seen waist beads and honestly thought perhaps it wasn't for us. Well, we were wrong. After we wrapped our individual hand beaded and crocheted waist beads around our waists, we got a little shimmy and pep in our step. We hope you try yours on and see if you have the same reaction. In Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, and other West African countries, waist beads are a symbol of femininity, fertility, sensuality, and spiritual well-being. They can also be used to provide a subtle indication of weight loss or gain. Um, and then there's also a QR code um, on the back so you can learn how to tie the beads. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love that they're Valentine's Day colors. This is a really cool thing. This is something I would have never thought of. I'm definitely gonna try them out and see how they make me feel. So Victory Rose is the owner of Victory Rose Designs and she is a talented artist and jewelry designer. Her ability to work in tiny details is extraordinary. She sees beauty and potential in overlooked and mundane objects and she is definitely an artist to watch. Well, I am really excited to try these on and just, I don't know, I think it's like so fun and I love to support artists and things like that. So this is really, really cool. These are so nice. The next thing out is this here, which is a candle. This is the Wine Night Scented Candle. So let's just, this is like, it's not silver. I don't know if you can tell, it's like a light champagne color. Single wick. Ooh, I like the way that smells. I don't drink wine, I don't drink alcohol, but it reads still yummy to me. It's like sexy grape. That's what it smells like to me, a sexy grape. I don't even know. They're probably gonna, maybe they'll give me actual scent notes. So it says this delicious candle titled Wine Nights presented with an elegant blend of black cherries and Merlot. Black cherries, I get that. Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. This is hand poured with buckets of love. Simply light your cotton wick and let the flames of your cozy candle dance. Always remember to trim your wick before your next burn. These are made using 100% soy wax sourced in the Midwest region of the United States. Similarly, all the fragrance oils used are phthalate free and handcrafted in Wisconsin, USA by local makers. Well, it's honestly, it smells really good. Like, I honestly really, really like this. Very impressed. So Natasha and Mitchell Neinhuis are the co-founders of Cozy Candles LLC. Um, this began as a form of self-care for founder and soul candle crafter Natasha. The more Natasha explored and tested waxes, scents, and wicks, the more her desire grew to share her passion with others. Well, that's really, really awesome. I, like, I can't stop smelling this. I really do like it. It's not what I was expecting, and it's way better, actually. Like, it smells so good, and it's, like, sexy good. Sexy fruity, if you will, which is one of my favorite scent descriptions. And then last but not least, we have this here. This is the Your Wonderful Thoughtfuls. It says a kind word or message can change someone's day. You can choose to change someone else's day or change your own. Each of these thoughtful messages can be shared or cherished by you at the right moment. So what is this? What does this looks like? Okay, cool. So it's just little messages inside. Let's say you're wonderful. And then there's like different things. I think you can write on some of them. I'm not gonna open them right now, but you, oh, they pop open. Oh, I've seen these before. Okay, I really, really like this and I'm super excited to have this. This is so fun. So yeah, you can give these out to different people. They're so good. I like today, I'm filming this on World Kindness Day, Acts of Kindness Day. And so I feel like this is very touching, even though that nobody would have ever known that I'd be filming this on this day. But 
Th that was everything in the February Hermine box. I thought it was so, so good. Love the candle. Like my, I think my favorites are the candle, the shower steamers, and these beads. Cause these are so out of my comfort zone that like I'm really excited for them and I just love the message behind it. But I, I genuinely love everything in this box. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this Hermine box? I would love to hear your thoughts. Up next, let's jump into the Mindful Souls box. I think this is the February box, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you're unfamiliar with the Mindful Souls box, this is a monthly dose of self-love. It has things like crystals and other mindfulness kind of meditative type products inside of the box. And you get six to eight items in each box. This box is $39.97 a month, and this is sent to me free for review. I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 25% off your first box. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. So you do get a little affirmation card in the box. This is affirmation for success. I excel in all that I do, and success comes easily to me. And then on the back of the, this card, it does tell you everything that is inside of the box. And then there's a sticker. The sticker's really cool. I love the colors. So that is the sticker this month. I feel like we've gotten one and I think this is like my second or third box. And I feel like we've gotten a sticker in each one, which is really cool. Now, most of the products do come in these little mindful soul pouches, but there's a couple products in here that don't. So let me start with those. The first one is this here. This is a frankincense resin bag. So frankincense has a comforting property that helps focus the mind and overcome stress and despair. The traditional method of using natural resin um, is burning it on charcoals or using it in an oil burner. To achieve the best result, you can burn frankincense during meditation, yoga, or just an evening of pure relaxation. It will lift your emotional spirits to the upper realms, helping visualize your path and feeling centered. This smells really nice. I do think I have charcoal tablets because in the, in the Middle East, they use charcoal tablets a lot and probably frankincense would be my guess. I have a lot of Middle Eastern friends and I, so I think somewhere I do actually have charcoal tablets that I could burn this on, which is really awesome. The next thing that I am pulling out is this here. This is a Kamini Egyptian musk soap. So this is 100% vegetable based soap. It's a mystical captivating scent with sensuous stimulating qualities. This beautifully scented soap is designed to make bathing luxurious and sensual experience. Okay, let's smell this. Ooh, that is like sensual. It just looks like a regular bar of soap. It is a fairly strong scent. I don't dislike it, but um, it is fairly strong. So depending on like your scent tolerance, you may or may not like that. I do like it. I'm actually really excited to try this out and, and use it. It seems very, very nice. All right, now let's jump into these cute little mindful soul pouches. Ooh, the first thing out is a bracelet and this is the aquamarine bracelet. Aquamarine is a water element stone that is great for cleansing the emotional body and opening communication. When wearing this stone, people find courage to express their thoughts and find it easier to develop their instinctive abilities. Very cool. Now there is something down here. It's important to cleanse and energize your crystals as soon as you obtain them. I assume this counts. There's other like crystal stuff you get in the box, but this is really pretty with a little blue. And these are like actual stones, so they feel really cool and soothing to the touch and kind of like calming. All right, next little baggie. Ooh, uh, so the next thing out is this here. It is so cool. Um, this is Turatella Agate, which is a spiritual crystal deeply connected to the earth and home, to one's personal roots and ancestry, even to the events of one's past. This is a perfect stone to have when meditating or solving issues of the past. I don't know how good you're going to be able to like see this. I wonder if I can like, I don't know if I can like get it to focus on, on it. It wants to focus on my hand and not the stone. That's Come on, focus on the stone. It is so cool and so pretty. I love this one. It's really, really cool. There's so much detail that you can't pick up on. So cool. All right, next little pouch. Ooh, this is a ring and this is the ring here. If it will focus. Um, this is the Rainbow Moonstone Ring. The Rainbow Moonstone has added energy that can bring light into your mental and spiritual life and will help guide you through challenging psychic situations. This nurturing energy of this stone will fill you with joy and bliss. Well, y'all, I need that right now. I need all of that that I can get. Now, I have tiny fingers, so I don't know. Is this gonna... I can, I can wear this on my thumb. I have, like, size five fingers. <laughs> Maybe a size six. So, oh, this... Oh, it's adjustable. So I can adjust that to fit some of my other fingers. Okay, cool. Um, honestly, I need all of that energy in my life, so I might be wearing this like everywhere I go. I need that in my life right now. All right, next little pouch. Ooh, this is pretty big. So this is Sodalite. 
Um, it says the earth power filter contained in every sodalite mineral stone filters out negative energy. Reducing the negative, it facilitates a more positive view of others and helps in revealing the brighter side of a situation or person. It's a great stone to hold in your hand during meditation. You can hold sodalite in your hand during meditation or carry it in your pocket throughout the day to keep your emotions balanced. Um, yep, could also definitely use this a lot, like right now. It's a beautiful stone. This one isn't polished, but it's still gorgeous. Alrighty, and last but not least, one final little pouch. And this is another little bracelet. This is the Crystal Quartz Bracelet. Clear quartz heightens the awareness and improves one's perceptions. Energy levels are increased, thought processes are improved and clarified. Clear quartz increases the patience and perseverance, while it imparts a greater capability to live life in harmony with all living things. Wear these crystals in times of emotional stress and energy imbalance. Very pretty and cool. Again, these are like real stones, so it feels really nice to the touch. So that is everything in the Mindful Souls box, I think for February, maybe it's March, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I thought this was a pretty good box. I really love the Sodalite, the Turritella Agate was really cool, the Frankincense, really, really fun. This is obviously different from a lot of boxes that I unbox on the channel, but nonetheless, I think it is awesome. So definitely let us know your thoughts down in the comments below on this box. All right, last but not least, we have the BoxyCharm Premium Box for February, my paid for version. This box is $39.99 a month, comes with about six pre more premium products inside, and you do get to choose one of the products. Now, I have unboxed my PR version of the box, but I do also pay for it, and so wanted to share that with you guys. So when you open up the box, that is what it looks like. This month's theme is Be My Glamantine, and I have variation number 204. So the good news is that this month, there's a lot of things in this box that are not repeats. There's a couple repeats, but a lot of it is not. So I'm pretty excited to jump in. The first thing that I'm pulling out is this here. This is from Complex Culture, and this is their Futures So Bright eyeshadow palette, which retails for $30 and is a new launch. I've tried a lot of Complex Culture products because they're owned by Ipsy, and Boxterm and Ipsy are now owned by the same company. So cool to try this. Complex Culture's packaging is really on point. That's really pretty. I'm curious, what do these look like? Ooh. Okay, it's pretty for February. I don't know, like, I don't know how often I jump into that. That reflect shade is gorgeous. I feel like I might jump into, like, that shade. I'll use it. I don't know how much I'll use the pink shades, but I feel like I'll use the other stuff. It does come with a full mirror, and then it tells you which... As you blend with these, you shade with the others and define. Not quite sure, but it's a very nice quality packaging. The shades are definitely cute. Um, I don't know how often I'd reach into it though. Like it's a really pretty palette. But if I think about like the yellow and the pinks are not stuff, or, oh, that's like a very yellow gold, you know? So I'm not sure how often I would jump into this. But I think I remember, I have. do I have an eyeshadow palette from them? If I do, it's like in gray packaging. And I think I remember liking their formula. But it might not be eyeshadow, so still, I'm, I'm definitely going to try this and play around with this because I think it'll be fun. All right, the next thing out has gotten glitter everywhere in the box. I must have chosen this as one of my items. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil. This retails for $39, and so this is just a highlighter. It does, like, I don't, why would they, I don't know why they wouldn't seal that because there's definitely glitter all over the box. And it's not necessarily from this, I don't think, unless this explodes. No, this is totally fine. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Oh my, I have glitter everywhere. And this is the highlight shade. All right, I've got to swatch this. Whoa, that is so soft. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, cover me in this. That is beautiful. I don't think it's coming across on camera as pretty as it does in person. That is so soft. You would assume with the glitter that it would feel kind of gritty. It doesn't at all. It's so smooth. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be trying this. This is in the shade How Many Carrots. I don't know if there's multiple different shades, but that's the one that I got and very excited about this. All right, up next we have this product here. This is from Dime Beauty and this is their Eyelash Boost Serum. This retails for $44 and is a brand new to BoxyCharm. I probably chose this as well. I'm not 100% sure. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna open it right now. 
Um, it says, grow your own naturally full and beautifully long lashes with the help of this best-selling eyelash boost serum. This improves length, de density, and strength of hair for an overall follicle health with a proprietary blend of amino acids and peptides. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or put this in a giveaway, only I've been having issues with stuff around my eyes. Did I say, I don't know if I said this in that, that in this video or in a different video. That might've been my Ipsy X. I'm so confused. I'm filming multiple videos today. Um, either way, um, I'm not sure about this. I probably chose it, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna use it, so I might put this in a giveaway. Up next, we do have a repeat. This is the Moonlit Makeup Primed for the Night Primer, and this is $18, a new launch. I did use this in my PR video and tried it on. I did enjoy it. Um, I thought it was good. I don't really use eye primers, so it wasn't like the most amazing thing, but I will put this one in a giveaway. Um, unfortunately, this is like literally covered in glitter. Can you tell? This is from Vike Beauty and it's their makeup melt. This is $24 and is brand new to BoxyCharm. I also got this. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't had the chance to try it yet, but again, this one will go in a giveaway. I'm gonna have to wipe it down to get all the glitter off of it, but I think it's a cool product. I think it's a really cool product to get. And then finally, we have a product from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics, and this is their Love Birds Lip Duo. This retails for $30 and is a boxy exclusive. So I'm actually really excited about this. I did not get this in my PR box. So this is the Naughty Not Nice Lip Kit. What does this come with? This is a matte liquid lipstick and a lip gloss duo. Ooh, so a really pretty red lipstick and then a gloss that you can put on top. I'm not gonna swatch anything right now because I have glitter like everywhere and I don't wanna get glitter inside of these things. Um, but honestly, really, really pretty. And that red for Valentine's Day is, I mean, I know Valentine's Day is done, but like that is a gorgeous red. So I'm very excited about this. So that was everything in my BoxyCharm Premium box for February. I thought it was a pretty good box. Like I do really like this one. It had different stuff from my PR box. So that's already a win. Um, so definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And actually that was all of the boxes in today's video. So let me know your thoughts on all of the boxes down below. What were your favorite products in this video? I need to even look, like what was even in this video? I think that liquid lipstick from Basic Beauty and the ice cream box is a favorite. I love the bath bombs from Bombs and Bubbles. So loving those. I mean, there's so many products, the candle from her mind. I don't even know, but what was your favorite product? What was your favorite box? Definitely let me know down in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.